Top Jam Installation Guide for the Universal Hardware Heavy Duty All-in-One Closers. These closers are UL listed, ANSI Grade 1, Adjustable Size 1 through 6, and meet ADA compliance. And designed for right and left-handed interior doors up to 60 inches wide or exterior doors up to 48 inches wide. To determine if the door is a right or left-hand door, while facing the push side of the door, if the hinges are on the left, it is a left-hand door. If the hinges are on the right, it is a right-hand door. Here are the tools required for installation. The closer comes with everything else you will need. To mark your installation holes, first determine the maximum degree of door opening. For up to 100 degree opening, from the center line of the hinge, measure 7 and 1 half inches. For up to 130 degree opening, from the center line of the hinge, measure 6 inches. For up to 180 degree opening, measure from the center line of the hinge 4 and a half inches. Then, using that mark as a guide, from the bottom of the door jamb, measure 5 eighths of an inch up to mark your first hole. Use the following dimensions to measure for the remaining hole locations. Note, the same dimensions apply to left or right hand doors. Use a hammer and punch to mark the center of each screw hole. Using the chart, select the appropriate drill bit based on the type of fastener, your specific door material, and application. Be sure to drill the holes at the specified drill depth to prevent from drilling through the opposite side. Before installing, using the included Allen wrench, turn the power adjustment screw clockwise to increase power or counterclockwise to decrease power. Adjust the spring power of the closer based on the degree of opening and the door width as shown on the chart. Disassemble the forearm from the main arm by removing the elbow screw and both washers. Keeping in mind that the speed regulating valves labeled 1 and 2 will need to be positioned facing the door hinges. Position the closer body over the drill holes on the door jamb and fasten with four flathead screws. Place the main arm onto the bottom spindle of the closer body, aligning the pinion dimple at the base of the main arm as shown, and fasten with the main arm screw and large washer. Then position the forearm shoe over the drilled holes on the door and fasten with two round head screws. With the door closed, reassemble the arm. Bring the main arm and forearm together at the pivot point and fasten with elbow screw and both washers. Adjust the length of the forearm so that once connected to the main arm, it will be perpendicular to the door to ensure a proper preload and tighten the forearm screw to secure. To adjust the back check, which is the resistance to door opening when nearly fully open, turn the screw that is next to the pinion shaft. Clockwise for more opening resistance, or counterclockwise for less opening resistance. Never close the back check valve completely. To adjust the speed of the sweep, which is the closing speed from the door being all the way open, turn the screw labeled one clockwise for slower, or counterclockwise for faster. To adjust the latch closing speed, which is the closing speed from the door being about 20 degrees open to completely shut, turn the screw label two, clockwise for slower, or counterclockwise for faster. Be careful not to back any of the valves all the way out or a leak will occur. Place the cover on the closer body and fasten with two screws. Your new universal hardware closer is now ready for use.